Shoo! How's it going, folks? What? You guys love to hear it, don't you? Freaking quacky. Millie, you gotta be nice. Millie, be nice to the ducks. Be nice to quacky. Quacky, how's it going, buddy? Look at your little friend. The three musketeers. The little, the little ducks. All the chickens are gone. They're not dead, don't worry. They're actually they're over probably in that barn we've uh we let them out this morning we're just coming back to make sure everything's good we're letting them kind of graze and free range melly you're getting you're getting close to the ducks melly you cannot hunt the ducks uh -oh. but all the ducks are looking good like i said the chickens are well, they're out somewhere but we're gonna let the goats out too there he is yeah, there's that guy love love to hear it thank god for wacky anyways we're gonna let the goats out and let them free range and stuff Millie, hey hey the fence is hot stop 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 you're gonna get zapped you're gonna get zapped nobody wants a zapped puppy no we don't you want to go hang out with felipe all right you want to pee perfect anyways we're gonna let the goats out but the video that we've got planned today is well right now it's kind of cold honestly i thought i probably should have worn a bigger jacket than what I'm wearing now but we're gonna take Millie the puppy hunting for the very first time taking her hunting now you might be thinking what kind of hunting not duck hunting because there's no freaking ducks around here anymore they all left um but we're gonna be going after squirrels and rabbits now I know what you're thinking you don't use a dog for that I uh, I know I know you don't use a dog for that but she has been begging to get let out of the house like we let her out of the house don't get me wrong but like she normally bombs around with us when we're setting raccoon traps and recently we've been setting coyote and bobcat traps which she can't be there because she's either gonna get one stuck in the trap or two make scent go everywhere and stuff like that and we just we can't have that so finally we're taking the day off from bobcat and coyote trapping and we're gonna take her on her first hunting adventure she's never even heard a gunshot so that could go bad could not be a good thing but we're gonna go squirrel hunting rabbit hunting and we figured hey we could use millie to kind of walk around and maybe scare up some rabbits maybe tree a squirrel or something like that and uh, she's just gonna hang out with us and we're gonna see if we can shoot something give her her first experience hunting and if not i just heard a crow so maybe we'll maybe we'll do that but first we're gonna let the goats out they haven't been out in a few days and it is nice outside so before it gets cold in a couple days felipe we're gonna let you graze don't do anything i wouldn't do just letting you guys know we're out hunting we have guns you mess around you get shot i'm just kidding i, I wouldn't do that you want to try to cross it or do you want me to put the you want me to put the board down okay how about you guys you guys want to come across go ahead karen go ahead rick jump over the wire there you go look at these guys now they're all excited don't go by the house they're definitely gonna go by the house go get them millie go get the goats you go get the goats yeah yeah you go get them you go get them <laughs> look rick now you finally have somebody to play with uh oh uh oh millie you gotta be careful you don't have horns and he does okay you gotta keep that in mind play with karen she's nice oh karen's eating pumpkin how's that pumpkin karen i guess i probably should have thrown it in their pen i didn't know they would like it she's munching go get Go get Felipe. Go get Felipe. Get him. Go get Karen. Go get Karen. Go get Rick. Rick looks like he's just not about it. Look at him. He's starting to get he, he's starting to get pissed. Go get him, Ellie. Go get him. Go play with him. They're, they were, they're not gonna hurt you. you. Rick loves playing. Alright, that's enough goat playing for now. Felipe's out there eating on crunch. Oh Rick! Oh. Chill! Rick! Rick! <laughs> chill! Hey, you gotta relax, buddy. <laughs> I've never seen him do that. Look at him. Millie, luckily you're faster than him because he's gonna beat your ass. Yeah, she knows she's jumping the mule to hide from him. That was hilarious, dude. He was pissed. Rick, just calm down. She's just a pup. I, was that scary? Yeah, Rick, Rick got real mad. Go get him. Go get Rick. Show him who's boss, Millie. Don't let big boy boss you around. You go get him. You got sharper teeth than him. You go get him. Is this encouraging animal fighting or something? Okay. Don't I don't condone that. All right. I'm not out here trying to have a dog goat fighting ring. Okay. They're just playing. Rick understands they're playing. Millie thinks they're playing. Except when he kind of freaked out there, she got a little bit nervous. But anyways, all the animals are good. We just got to make sure that they don't go up by the house. That's the only thing we got to make sure of. And uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up their water and uh, make sure their food's good. And then Millie, we're going hunting. You excited? You have no idea what that means. Well, we, uh, as we were running around, kind of situating everything, the goats, look at them. They meandered into the new pen, which has still yet to be done. It's only zip tied and we don't have uh, T posts running across, which like you're gonna, those are 16 feet. So you want them every eight feet. So we're missing like 30 T posts basically. And it's zip tied. So these guys definitely could get out if they wanted to, but they meandered in there. And uh, me and Sam were like, dude, let's just shut it and just see what happens. Like that gate isn't even like fixed on there. It's just like two zip ties and a post. But we're going to let them chill in here while we go hunting and see if they even try to escape. Because if not, we'll just leave them in here. 
I mean, there's a lot more grass for them. Their other basically pen over there, they pretty much ate all the grass. Like this is fresh grass for them. So if they don't, you know, if they don't try to escape while we run around, then I see no issue why we couldn't just leave them in here. They might eventually escape, but at least for today, we'll know that they're here, they're safe. And uh, Millie, we're going hunting, buddy. I know you're just, you're fixated on Rick because Rick tried to square up earlier and you're trying to figure out how you can beat him up. It probably just won't happen. He's got about 40 pounds on you, little girl. I think we're gonna start here. This just, it's actually, I've never really, I've explored a little bit down there, but not really. And I've seen like one squirrel down there like a month ago. So since we're already here, we're gonna start here. Slayman, he's gonna be using the old 22 with the scope and he's gonna be holding the camera and I'm gonna be walking on the shoddy. So if, if Millie scares out a rabbit or a squirrel that's real close, I'll shoot it. If something runs up in a tree or we see something, I'll grab the camera and Slayman's gonna be Sniper McGee. That's the plan right now. And uh, hopefully Millie has a good time and we don't scare too much with the shots. Hopefully we kill something. You guys stay tuned. How do you feel about it? Oh, a feel squirrel's like, feel gonna like, feel like die. Chris? Oh yeah. Sheesh. A squirrel's gonna die today. I'm, I'm excited. And then I've got this guy right here, which the old trusty handy dandy shoddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot trap loads though, like, like seven and a half shot, three, two and three quarter inch shells. And I'm gonna shoot that, not, right. What I think what it's got sitting in there right now, maybe it's like three inch two for a waterfowl. So uh, probably not gonna shoot that. And we're gonna change it out for some trap loads and. We're going hunting. Go ahead and get this boy, bad boy loaded up. Boom. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's get to walking. I know you're supposed to be quiet for hunting, but that probably just won't happen today, to be honest with you. But kind of just want to take a gander real quick, make sure we don't see anything, and then get to walking. Come on, Billy. Hey, find the rabbits. Find the squirrels. Go get them. You go get them. I'm not seeing any yet. Oh, yeah, look at all this. Oh, is that coyote? It is. Look at that. That's hair, ain't it? Yeah. I think that's, it could be raccoon. There's a lot of seeds and stuff. Millie, quit eating. Quit eating the poop. So it's either coyote or raccoon. Wonder if they hit the ducks. I think this is the remains of the two ducks that are missing. Could be. We're not that far from it. Yeah, I've never even been over here. This place actually looks really cool. We should probably start trapping right in here, but found some poop. Not what we're after, but it's a good sign. That's what we're after, Millie. Millie, listen to me. Go find it. Okay, let's go. Oh, well, we made it to the edge of the property here. Because like I've never even been over here. We didn't see nothing, so we're gonna keep walking. We're gonna walk back. Pretty much just walk all the little bottoms, all the little creek bottoms that are on the property here and see if we can find one. I thought for sure we'd see a rabbit get scared up out of here. There's just so much, so much that looks like, you know, rabbit den looking areas, but Millie, what do you think? What do you think about your first uh, your first experience hunting? Oh yeah, she's she's uh, very entertained right now. Look at that, Millie. That's from a buck. You know what a buck is? Yeah, me neither. Never shot one. They're around here. I haven't seen a buck in like two weeks though. Figured with it being a rut that you'd see one, but now we're meandering over here. There's a little pocket of trees, some big tall trees. I feel like that's probably the best bet for squirrels. Standing up on her back. I've never seen her do that. What is it? Go get it. Go get it. Let's go get it. Come on. Dude, I've never in my life seen her do anything like that. I don't know. I don't know what you're freaking out about. I don't see anything. I thought for sure it'd be a rabbit or something. Never seeing that happen where her hair stands up like that. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's keep going. Oh, the squirrel, squirrel. Where? In that far tree. You see it? No, no, no. Where? It's straight ahead, straight ahead. And uh, there's two, there's two. Okay. Uh, they just far? ran in that nest. Sam saw two squirrels. I didn't see him, so he's gonna try to shoot them with the, with the uh, scope gun. Don't worry, one way. Okay. Okay, it, describe it to me so I am on the same page as you. There's a V, yep. and then kind of there's two Vs on the right wing in that nest there. That's the one you're looking at, right? Yep. So it's near there. Yep. There's, I saw it go in the nest, and okay. then there's another one that was on the left side of these trees here, in that first tree. In the closest two big yep. trees? Yep. Okay. Well, they're gonna, they'll move if we just kind of be quiet, wait for one of them to pop, poke its head out. It's been like 10 minutes, we have not seen any motion. We've been glassing the trees with the with the guns. So we're gonna go ahead and just push 
and uh, we're gonna try to flank. We're gonna try. So they're they're in this. There's two of them. Sam said we're gonna try to go down and around this way. He's gonna have the sniper since he saw them. He's got a better eye than me. He knows kind of the area they're in. I'm gonna run with the shotgun and try to keep Millie under control. We'll see. Dude, that place looks good. Even if we don't even see those, I feel like we're gonna see more. That's a fresh nest too. You can tell that the color of it. The leaves aren't dead. I mean, they're dead, but they're not. They're they're still they self color basically. I Means it's a fresh nest, meaning something is is using it. I don't know if they're in the nest now or around it, but we're gonna try to get a little bit closer. Right now, we're sitting under, we're standing under where we saw the squirrels. I swear on our way down, I saw its tail like quivering. I think it's just on the back side of this tree. I'm just waiting for his head to stick around, and then I'm gonna shoot. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh. got oh. him. I got him. Oh, I got him. You smoked him, dude. I got him. Melly, I just got one. That's the first gun you've ever heard. I got him. Dude, my first shot knocked him out. He like, he, he started him, falling. And as he was falling, he clammed on again. I shot three times. I think he's dead though. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that, Melly. <laughs> oh man. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen it. Like I said, I shot it and it fell as it was falling. It, it might've just got caught. It might not even grabbed. It looked like it grabbed, but we got him. Oh yeah, big boy. That's a big chungus right there, boys. Shoo, man, what do you think, buddy? That's your first hunt. The first time you've ever gone hunting. Shot a big chungus squirrel. You're not a very good retriever, but hey, hey, at least we found it. You didn't get that scared either from this gunshot. You were kind of confused, but you didn't get that scared. We got him, shout out to Slayman. Slayman spotted this guy up in the tree and uh, took some spot and stock and skills, but we got him done. Shoo, the first time we went squirrel hunting in the backyard and the first time Millie's been hunting. Yes, sir. Well, I went inside, I had to change. I was sweating. I was wearing freaking thermal fuzzy pants, ducks, thermal hoodies, and vests, and big boots, and everything else. I went inside real quick, changed. We still got big chungus right here. Millie's still excited. She's not tired. I'm surprised she's not tired. She's still got plenty of energy, but we're gonna go down to the animals. We're gonna see if Rick and the rest of the goats stayed in their pen. It wasn't even wired shut or anything like that, so this is the moment of truth. Tom, did you hold down the fort, buddy? Tom sees Sam and is ready to square up. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. This is what we call some fenced in goes. What do you think, Felipe? You like your new pen? It's so much bigger, you have so much more room. We might just start doing that until, until we muster up the energy to finish posts and wire it all shut and everything else. A big reason actually why we've been waiting is because all this dirt, it's been mud. Right now it's actually dry because we haven't had any rain or snow for a while, but I'm waiting for the ground to kind of freeze because if it gets wet and muddy and those goats are running around, it's just not gonna be good. It's gonna tear up the yard and I know they don't like mud in between their toes. No one likes mud in between their toes. So right now it's working though with it being dry. I think that's what, what we might do just during the day when we're home. This is like they're basically instead of, oh, 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 Rick, Rick, Rick. What was I just saying? He's trying to fight you right now. He's up, he's gonna knock this over. Rick, Rick's 100% gonna break this. Which this post is actually set. It's pretty good, we just need to hang it. But I mean, it kept them in for, for the day. It's kind of nice, move them over there, they graze. There's still, there's still some grass for them to eat, not a ton, but a bunch of tall grass there. So at least they can, you know, not eat all the freaking hay that cost me money to buy. It's free hay basically, and let them grace. We're gonna let them grace for the rest of the day. And what do you think, Mel? What do you think about your first hunting experience? I feel like that was pretty chill. We just walked around. You were growling at metal objects for no reason. And then shot a squirrel up in the tree and it fell down and we got a big chungus on the ground. Let me know if you guys enjoy these squirrel hunting videos. I want to make it a catch and cook, but we ain't got time for that. We've got to go and we actually need to go head down to the farm and film a completely different video. We don't have time for a catch and cook today, but if you guys want to see, is he ramming you? What's he? Buddy, he's pissed. Hey, hey, Rick. You're all right. Oh, dude, he's definitely just gonna knock this over. Anyways, I was just saying, if you guys wanna see a catch cook video, let me know. Next time we go hunting, we'll we'll do a catch cook. We'll try to plan to have a little bit more time on our hands. But squirrel hunting was a success. Didn't see any rabbits. Millie didn't scare any rabbits. It was actually Slayman, the dog Slayman. He's the one who found the squirrels at a distance. We stalked him and we waited and were patient. 
We walked right up to it and I saw the little dude, he literally just put his head around the corner, poof, shot. As he was falling down, whether I don't even know if I hit him on the first shot, scared him to death. Fell down, clung to the tree, shot more, two more times and he fell down on the ground to make sure he's dead. So there you have it folks. There is a squirrel hunting episode for you. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for squirrel hunting, especially the backyard squirrel hunting. It was actually pretty cool because we explored a lot of areas that I've never even been. Like I've been back there, which is where we started, but not really that much. And right where we shot the squirrel, I would never even been over there. We walked down, there's a sweet little pasture. We actually saw a bunch of uh, deer running around too, uh, a bunch of does and stuff. So it was actually a pretty cool experience and I feel like we need to do it more. Anytime it's a nice day like this we should just walk around with the dog and see what you see take it home and uh, like i said maybe next time we'll do a catch a cook let me know if you guys want to see that hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you guys so much for watching and peace